Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to be going over the back rooms. I'm thinking of starting a little series and going through a couple of the levels here that I think are pretty cool. Obviously, we have to start with level zero because it's where the whole thing began in the first place. And if you don't know what the back rooms is, uh, I'm going to give you a background on it and then we're going to go through the description of level zero and you can watch the gameplay here and see it for yourself. And yeah, no actual story today. I guess the story today is more of uh, talking about a scary concept. And what I really like about the back rooms is that it really evolved from this level zero thing to where anybody can make their own level. And it's like uh, an infinite well of scary stories to pick from. So I don't plan on doing a huge series on this. So, I mean, I, you can make it go forever, basically, with how many <laughs> uh, things people put out there. But I'll probably keep it to the levels that are in the game. So each video will be... Uh, the level in the game, me going through it, trying to get out, and then I'll read you the description about what it is in the background, and just give a little commentary here and there. So this will be a little different than the usual format we go with, but yeah, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the, the comments down below, but let's get into it. So if you've never heard of the backrooms, it started as a 4chan post of, well, what you're looking at right now. Uh, Someone took a picture of somewhere that looked like the space we're walking through and had a short paragraph here that said, if you're not careful and you know clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights and maximum hum buzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Now, if you're here on this channel, more so for the scary stories and the gameplay, uh, no clipping is basically in a video game when you go out of the boundary you're supposed to be in. So the idea here is that in the real world, you kind of slip through the cracks of reality a little bit and unfortunately end up here where we're at in this game right now <laughs> so this is where it started uh, i believe it was a few years ago but um now it's evolved into a lot there's some really good series on youtube where you can watch uh animated videos about it people expanding the lore but there really is no lore because it's really if someone says it exists in it it kind of does because there's infinite uh levels so this original post became level zero and going through the wiki here uh it says it's safe secure and there's minimal entities and each level is going to have a different entity which makes this game interesting because you get a lot of different um I guess not villains, but uh, monsters you have to escape. So the description of level zero is, level zero is a non-linear space resembling the back rooms of a retail outlet. Similar to its previous form, all rooms in level zero appear uniform and share superficial features such as yellowish wallpaper, damp carpet, and inconsistently placed fluorescent lighting. However, no two rooms within the level are identical. The installed lighting flickers inconsistently and hums at a constant frequency. The buzzing is notably louder and more obtrusive than ordinary fluorescent humming, and examination of the fixtures to determine the source has been inconclusive. The substance saturating the carpet cannot be consistently identified. It is not water, nor is it safe to consume. Linear spaces in level zero are altered drastically. It is possible to walk in a straight line and return to the starting point. In retracing your steps will result in a different set of rooms appearing than the ones already passed through. Due to this, and the visual similarity between rooms, consistent navigation is extremely difficult. Devices such as compasses and GPS that appear to stray between the level, and radio communications are distorted and unreliable. Level Zero is an entirely still and completely devoid of life. Despite the fact that it is primary entrance to the back rooms, contact with other wanderers within the level has never been reported. 
Presumably, a great number of people have died before exiting. The most likely cause is being dehydration, starvation, and psychological trauma due to sensory deprivation and isolation. However, no corpses have been reported from the hypothetical deaths. Attempting to enter level 0 in a group will result in the separation of the group until the level is exited. Rooms with red wallpaper and dim lighting appear very rarely. These should not be approached or entered. Hallucinations are common in level 0, the most common being humming from lighting increasing to a deafening volume then abruptly silencing, the appearance of doors, the appearance of stairs, acute deja vu, human-like speech resembling no known language, movement and peripheral vision resembling insects crawling underneath the wallpaper which disappears once the wall is observed directly, insect-like chittering. According to analysis, the CO2 levels within level 0 are rising at a steady rate. The significance of this is unknown. Entrances Accidental note clipping out of the bounds of reality is the most consistent way of accessing level 0, and by extension, the back rooms. Different levels exist, with different doors and entrances that can take you back to the beginning to level 0. Exits Exiting level 0 is only possible by note clipping which will always result in entry to level 1. As newcomers to level 0 are often unfamiliar with the mechanics of the back rooms, it is necessary to keep your bearings and adapt quickly to the environment in order to exit and survive. Additionally, documentation from the MEG can be found in the Manila Room, assisting newcomers in survival and escape. Instructions on how to noclip can be found in... Redacted. So, that... That is the wiki. Uh, it says no entities can be found in here, but as you can see in the game we're playing, a certain group of people have decided you can find whatever the hell that was supposed to be. <laughs> so uh, next I'm going to read you a separate wiki that's going to describe that thing. So yeah, let's get into that too. The bacteria is an entity, is a humanoid creature that inhabits the back rooms, preying on victims that have found themselves in their presence. They're extremely hostile towards humans and have been cause for concern among the Async Research Institute in their mission to study the back rooms. The creature seems to come to life from a black substance resembling mold around the back rooms. The entity is presumably killed who is theorized to be Nicholas Bolton, evidenced by the severe tissue damage and mutated bacteria inside his body. It most likely killed many other people who fell into the back rooms too. The origins of the creature are debated. It could have been in the back rooms long before Async created the threshold. The life form appears to wander the back rooms randomly, often making noises that seem similar to human speech. However, it is unclear if the creature understands the meaning of these sounds it's creating. Sorry about the jump scare there, uh, it kind of worked out perfectly that we ended the wiki on the creature as soon as it decided to show up, so I thought I'd be quiet for a second and let you guys uh, experience that, because I don't know if you noticed, I also jumped pretty hard from that, so yeah, right here we are building a ladder and getting the key, and then we can move out of this level, so that and the differences between this wiki and the other one kind of show you that this has really morphed into a lot of different stories about the same thing. So the first wiki we read said that there was no entities and nobody had died here or they hadn't found bodies. Whereas this one has this entity just like the game does and then also says the evidence of where it came from is because it seemed like it was originating from a body they found. So. A big difference in backrooms lore, especially for this level, is that you have the traditional one and then you have uh, Kane Pixels, who is an awesome creator on YouTube, you should definitely check him out, um, kind of made his own version of it, and that's where this comes from, and that's where kind of the creatures in uh, this <coughs> level of the game come from. So once we get to further levels in the game, it should be more closely related to the wiki. It's really just this beginning one that a lot of people kind of latched onto and threw their own ideas at. 
but uh, it's probably going to be a recurring theme here <laughs> in this little series I'm doing. So that's really it for level zero. Uh, playing it takes a lot longer than talking about it because it goes on forever, but basically in the game we're finding a ladder that gave us the key which you saw and then we're going to go up some uh, stairs here in a little bit and yeah thank you guys for listening and again let me know in the comments if you think a backroom series is a good idea and i'm just gonna let you enjoy the last little bit of gameplay while we get out of the level see y'all in the next one